Joining me right now is Judge Michael Mukasey, former U.S. Attorney General, and it is great to see you, Judge. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to be here, Mary. First of all, do we have any evidence that Russia is, in fact, behind all of this? I don't know what the evidence is. I know that many people have said they are. Um, candidly, that's secondary to what it is that's being disclosed. Exactly. The contents of the emails. I want to get to an important email between uh, Patrick Kennedy. Uh, it's about Patrick Kennedy, who was a, a, a State Department aide. Email from Clinton aide Huma Abedin to Robbie Mook and John Podesta. This is January 2015. The condition upon which the Moroccans agreed to host the meeting was her participation. This was Hillary's idea. Our office approached the Moroccans, and they 100% believe they are doing this at her request, the king has personally committed approximately $12 million. So I'm going to get to the State Department email with Patrick Kennedy in a minute, but first let's address this Moroccan email. Obviously, she's integrally involved in money from the king of Morocco to her husband's foundation, the Clinton right. Foundation, right. while she's a sitting Secretary of State. Uh, she left... Um the, so she left the position in 2013, I believe. Uh, so the question is whether she is actively involved at the time that she was Secretary of State. But that, that, har that of course, would be, would be a crime. But um, it almost hardly matters. The, Se the Department of State had issued a report that was critical of Morocco, said it was corrupt, said people were subject to arbitrary arrest. That's the Department of State that she headed. Okay. Fast forward a short time. She is hitting up the King of Morocco for $12 million to host a, um, a, a, a Clinton Global Initiative conference in Morocco that is going to enhance the prestige of the Moroccan regime um, and is going to make it seem like, hey, there's nothing more wrong with Morocco. Why the former Secretary of State herself um, is at a conference um, in Morocco. It turned out that she didn't go, although Bill Clinton and Chelsea Clinton did go. Um, so again, it, it, it cuts against the message of her own State Department that this is a corrupt uh, and, and uh, arbitrary society. More, more evidence that she, okay, she's not in the office anymore, but she's I I intimately involved in money from the King of Morocco to her, her husband's foundation. Then you go back to when she was Secretary of State and the uranium deal with the Russians. Um, she, the Russians want to buy 25% of the stockpile of the U.S. uranium. For a long time they've wa they had wanted that, and the State Department pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. She allows it. At the same time that they're giving money to the Clinton Foundation. Right. Um, How is she going to explain this? If she won't explain it, she keeps blaming Russia with no explanation whatsoever about the content. You say, how is she going to explain it? She's going to have to explain it only if she's pressed by people in the media. And if she's not pressed, she won't explain. You saw on camera a great example of what her explanation is going to be. Her explanation is going to be explanation in quotes that this is from a polluted source um, I think we should be more concerned with the source than the content and I'm not going to comment on the content what's your take on the contents of this other email between a State Department official Patrick Kennedy and an FBI uh, agent where basically it is clear that the Under Secretary of State to management Patrick Kennedy is asking for a quid pro quo if you declassify this particular email we will allow FBI agents to go in foreign hotspots as you wanted to go. That obviously did not end up happening, but is it pretty obvious and straightforward that that was a request for a quid pro quo right there? The issue is less quid pro quo. Yeah, it was a request for a quid pro quo, but the issue is less quid pro quo than what was actually being done, which was obstructing an FBI, possibly obstructing an FBI investigation, and possibly instructing a congressional investigation of Benghazi, because the underlying email related to arrests in the, ben in the Benghazi investigation. And those, of course, would tend to undercut the, uh, the cock and bull story that was being told about how there was, this was all the attack was due to a video. The, Jim Comey, the head of the FBI, was the man at the end of the day who put Martha Stewart in jail for lying to uh, the government. Uh, and who he, appointed the prosecutor who went after Scooter Libby when everybody knew that Scooter Libby wasn't the source of the leak. And yet we know Hillary Clinton lied and no problem, according to Jim Comey. Right. Very disappointing. Um, for those who had high expectations of him. Which is why you say it's up to the media and the people, because it's not happening the way you would expect it to happen from our government st structure. Correct. It's not. And um, the ultimate, the ultimate uh, authority here is going to have to be the media and an aroused public. Judge, good to see you.
Good to see Thank you. Thank you so much. Judge